Hello everyone, this is Devasis Misra. Today we will discuss frequently asked interview question based on Ohm's law. I have discussed 10 questions based on Ohm's law which will help you when you will go to interview or when you will face in Bhaivavas. So, let us discuss these questions. First question is Ohm's law is appropriate to semiconductors, vacuum tubes, carbon registers, none of this. Ohm's law is appropriate to none of this. It is not it is not appropriate to semiconductors, vacuum tubes, carbon registers. So answer is your none of this. The condition for the validity of Ohm's law is that the temperature should remain constant, current should not be proportional to the voltage, Redis resistance must be wear on type, none of this above. So, according to the Ohm's law, temperature should remain constant, it is correct. Current should not be proportional to the voltage. It is wrong, current is proportional to the voltage. Resistance must be wear own type. There is no necessity of this, none of this above. So, answer A is your correct answer. According to your Ohm's law, temperature should remain constant. Next question Ohm's law is not appropriate to semiconductors, DC circuits, small resistors high currents. Ohm's law is not applicable to, Ohm's law is applicable to DC circuits, small resistors, high currents. So, Ohm's law is not appropriate to semiconductors. So, answer A is your correct answer. Right form of Ohm's law, I is equal to VR, it is wrong because we know that V is equal to IR. V is directly proportional to I, it is correct. V is equal to IR, it is also correct. Answer D above B and C. So, answer D is your correct answer. V is directly proportional to I and V is equal to I into R. Ohm's law in point form of the field theory can be expressed as J is equal to sigma E. Answer C is your correct answer because Ohm's law is a statement about how application of electric field to a conducting material leads to an electric current J is equal to sigma E. In this particular equation, sigma is called as the conductivity of the material, E is the applied electric field and J is the electric current density at a point. So, your correct answer is C, J is equal to sigma E. Then, one microvolt is expressed as, microvolt means 10 to the power minus 6. So, answer D is your correct 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 volt. And what is the approximate filament resistance of a light bulb if it operates from a 110 volt source and 0 0.6 ampere of current is flowing? So, question is what is the resistance? We know that V is equal to IR. So, V is given, I is given. So, we have to find the R. So, V is equal to I R means R is equals to V by I. So, 110 divided by 0 0.6, it will be 183 ohm. So, answer A is the correct answer. How much current is produced by a voltage of 18 kilovolt across a 15 kilo ohm resistance. How much current? That means we have to calculate the current. We know that V is equal to IR. So, I is equals to 
V by R. So, 18 kilo volt divided by 15 kilo is equals to 1.2 ampere. So, answer A is your correct. Next question. A wire of resistance R has its length and cross-sectional area both doubled. So, its resistance will become what? A wire with resistance R and its length. R has its length and cross-sectional. So, we know the formula R is equal to rho L by A. It is already told that its length R, its length, length means 2L doubled 2L. Then your cross-sectional area A is doubled, so 2A. Now, R is equal to rho 2L by 2A. So, 2, 2 cancel. So, now R is equal to rho L by A. So, same. Previously, R is equal to rho L by A. Now, when we double the length and the cross-sectional area, then it is also rho L by A. So, answer will be C, R. Then, next question. Specific resistance of a substance is measured in. We know that R is equal to rho L by A. Rho is the specific resistance. So, R A is equal to rho L. So, specific resistance rho is equal to R A by L. Then, what is the unit of resistance? We know that it is ohm. Cross-sectional area, it is meter square. Length is meter. So, meter, meter square cancel. That means, you get you get your meter. So, ohm into meter. So, answer C is the correct answer. Ohm into meter. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.